In the small town of Ilian, everyone knows someone who works at Remington Arms. My dad works there. He's been working there, I think, five years now. And yeah, it's a really important, especially to the community. Or at least used to work there. Zachariah Johnson was one of the 105 who was laid off in August. It's going to cause a lot of stress for a lot of families around here. A lot of people depend on this factory for employment. I pretty much know, I know a lot of people that work there still right now. and this town is pretty much all employed there. Just two and a half months later, another 126 Remington employees are losing their jobs. But the people of Ilian aren't surprised. Remington is like the biggest part of this community, but it's also, you know, with like the different government changes, with like the gun laws and everything, you know, it's kind of hard to stay here when there's just so many restrictions. Remington has been suffering since the New York Safe Act passed, which outlawed automatic weapons in the state, including the Bushmaster rifle, which is produced at the Ilian facility. People here in Ilian tell me that these layoffs not only affect Remington Arms workers and their families, but the entire Mohawk Valley economy. Ultimately, this, this is what's holding the valley up. If this thing goes under, I have a feeling the whole valley is going to suffer from it. There's a lot of families that work there that depend on this place. Um, it's one of the biggest factories around here. This town is already in poverty, and now that this building is going to be moving. This town is going to be even more in poverty. There's going to be a lot of people just up and moving out of here because there ain't no work around here. The fate of the iconic facility, which will celebrate its 200 year anniversary in two months, is now uncertain. Reporting from Ilian, I'm Dora Scheidel.